friends how are you hope everyone is fine and doing great welcome back to my youtube channel with thalam academy which is an online learning platform myself bhavesh patel today in this video we will solve chapter number 4 quadratic equations question number 14 to 17 of sof internationals mathematics olympiad it will help you to solve quickly increase your confidence levels sharpness and smart smartness perform better in the exam and obviously higher the score so let's solve one by one in a bangle shop if the shopkeeper displays the bangle in the form of square then he is left with 38 bangles if he wanted to increase the size of square by one unit each side each side of the square he found that 25 bangles fall short fall short of in completing the square the actual numbers of bangles which he had with him in the shop was blank so initially with available bangles he is making the square let's say the size of the square or you can say side of the square is x so first equation will be x square plus he left with the bangle so x square plus 38 equals to numbers of bangles that's the first equation then if he increase the size of square by 1 so let's say x plus 1 square then there's a shortfall of 25 numbers equals to number of bangles that's the second equation now just we can say equate therefore x square plus 38 equals to x plus 1 whole square that is x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 25 so this 1 minus 25 is nothing but minus 24 let's take everything so x square x square get cancel let's take this 38 this uh, right hand side so 0 equals to 2x minus 24 plus 38 Not thirty-eight. This is minus thirty-eight. Therefore, zero equals to two x minus eight plus four, twelve. So two one carry over three plus two five. That is sixty-two. Therefore, two x equals to sixty-two. So x equals to three one thirty-one. that's the side of the square but what is been asked the actual number of bangles so let's place the value of x in any equation x square plus 38 so x number of bangles is x square plus 38 equals to 31 square plus 38 so 31 square 31 ones are 31 3 carry over 33 3 are 90 3 plus 3 so it is 96 so 961 plus 38 so it is 999 so it is 999 so option b next in the math olympiad of 2020 at animal planet two representative from the donkey side while solving a quadratic equations committed the following mistakes one of them made a mistake in the constant term and got the roots 5 and 9 another one committed an error in the coefficient of x and he got the roots 12 and 4 but in the meantime they realized that they are wrong and they managed to get it right jointly find the quadratic quadratic equation so let's say that equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 
Now the first one who got the roots five and nine. In that he did a mistake of constant term. Correct. So we know alpha plus beta equals to minus b by a. That's the sum of roots alpha and beta equals to minus b by a and product of roots is c by a. But c by a we cannot take because let's first write here uh, uh, sum that is 14 equals to minus b by a and 45 equals to c by a but this we cannot consider because he had did some wrong constant term he has taken c he has taken wrong so from here we can say b equals to minus 14 a second one he find the roots 12 and 4 so sum that is 16 equals to 12 plus 4, 16 equals to minus b by a. b is the coefficient of x which he has taken wrong. So we cannot consider this. And product that is 48 equals to c by a. Therefore, c equals to 48a. <coughs> now let's take a as a can be any number because a cannot be 0 but still let's write here ax square plus b equals to minus 14ax plus c equals to 48a equals to 0. So a get cancelled. a cannot be 0. So x square minus 14x plus 48, 48 equals to 0. That's the quadratic equations. That is C. So answer is C. Next. Rupees 6500 were divided equally among a certain number of persons. If there had been 15 more persons, each would have got rupees 30 less. Find the original number of person. Let's say original number of person is X. So, rupees 6500 divided by X, everybody will get rupees Y. And rupees 6500, if it is divided by between X plus 15, then everybody will get rupees Y minus 30. Correct. Therefore, here rupees y equals to rupees 6500 by x plus 15 plus 30. That's the second equation. This is first equation. Let's equate both and find out the x. So, equation 6500 by x equals to 6500 by x plus 15 plus 30. So here it is 6500 x plus 15 equals to 6500 x plus 30 x into x plus 15. Let's remove this zero. So here 650x plus 15 into 650 equals to 650x plus 3. 3x square plus 15 3 is a 45x. This 65x, 650x, 650x get cancelled. Therefore, 3x square plus 45x minus 15 into 650 equals to 0. Let's remove 3. 
divide by 3 so x square plus 15x minus 5 into 650 equals to 0 correct now just find the middle term so 5 ones are 5 and 650 so it is 13 multiplied by 50 so 13 5s are 65 and 50 ones are we have to bring plus 15 so this is plus and this is minus so middle term will be x square plus 65x minus 50x plus 650 equals to 0. Therefore, x plus 65 and x minus 50 equals to 0. So therefore, either x will be minus 65 or x equals to 50. This cannot possible. So x equals to 50. x equals to 50. So number of person is 50. Next. Swati can row her boat at a speed of 5 km per hour in still water. If it takes 1 hour more to row the boat 5.25 km upstream than to return downstream, find the speed of stream. So it, what, what it is given? The difference in time taken to travel 5.25 km in upstream and downstream is 1 hour. Correct. So time upstream minus downstream equals to 1 hour. Therefore, time taken in upstream, so distance is 5.25 km divided by speed. Speed is 5 km per hour in still water. And let's say x is the speed of stream kilometer per hour. Then in upstream, the speed will be 5 minus x minus distance in downstream 5.25 and the speed will be 5 plus x equals to 1. Now just simplify. Say 5.25 is common in bracket 5 plus x minus 5 minus x so it is 5 plus x equals to 5 minus x multiplied by 5 plus x that is a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square so 25 minus x square equals to so this 5 5 get cancelled so 2x 2x into 5.25 so that is 10.5x equals to 25 minus x square correct now just take this term on the right side or let's take this term on left side so x square plus 10.5 x minus 25 equals to 0 let's multiply by 10 So 10x square plus 105x minus 250 equals to 0. Common is uh, 5. So let's divide by 5. So 2x square plus 21x minus 50 equals to 0. So we have to split the middle term and bring 21x after subtractions because 
the product of 2 into minus 50 is minus 100. Correct? So 2 ones are 2, 50. So 25 twos are 50. So 25 and 4. 25 will be plus and 4 will be minus. So let's split the term like this. 2x square plus 25x minus 4x minus 50 equals to 0. Let's call, take a common x. 2x plus 25 minus 2 as a common. So 2x plus 25 equals to 0. So it is x minus 2 and 2x plus 25 equals to 0. Therefore x equals to 2 or x equals to minus 25 by 2. So this minus is not possible. So x equals to 2. Therefore answer is 2 km per hour. Answer is B. So that's all about the solutions of question number 14 to 17, chapter number 4, quadratic equations of SOF International Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithram Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithramacademy at the gmail.com. That is V I W T H A L M A C A D E M Y at the gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.